guys it's marcelina welcome to my channel um right now it is monday november 16th and we're starting the last week of being on campus here at uiuc so i mean it's well, like almost 2 p.m now i've been up since 8 today doing homework it is such a crazy chaotic week um we have to be moved out by saturday at 3 p.m the 21st which just happens to be my birthday so i'm moving out friday night um a lot of people are already starting to move out um yeah just things are winding down but there is so much homework in all of my classes right now and presentations and essays and posts and all of the things so it's very chaotic as well as like moving like i didn't have a roommate so but i'm getting one i have to clear out everything behind me so that they can move in their things in january and I have to move all, oh not all, but a lot of my things out of here that I'm bringing home for break. So I'm gonna take you along this week, um, just showing you what's happening. Um, I might cut out this these earlier parts because it's just me doing homework, cleaning, doing homework, cleaning. Uh, but yeah, this is the last week on campus here as a college freshman during COVID. Okay, so I'm gonna get to some cleaning of things. And as you can see here, the top of the closets have an extra little shelf. And I've been using the one that, you know, was supposed to be my roommate. So let me show you the status of that. Okay. So up here, I already opened it. There's just like boxes and other random assortment of items that I have to clean out and find other spaces for. Okay, so I cleaned it all out, except for a few things I'm bringing back home with me over break. However, I did discover this bin full of different rice cake Polish things um, that I didn't know I had because I shoved them in the back there and now I'm very excited but I have less than a week so they're coming back home with me. Sorry mama. But it's cleaned out so that's one thing done. Okay, so it's like Wednesday afternoon now. Yesterday it was just like schoolwork and I had Polish club thing and hung out with some friends so like I didn't do much other than take out the overflowing trash can. However, now it's time to get down to it so I am gonna show you what I'm up to. So I'm currently stripping the bed because I'm gonna wash these sheets and I have to wash these sheets. This pile of stuff on the ground I have to take down to the dumpster so that's like a few trips. Um, and yeah, basically that's all I'm doing right now. And then I have to, I'm going to clean through the fridge after that. But yeah, I have to clean the sheets that like when I leave, they stay fine. And then the second bed, I have to completely like dismantle and leave as if I never used it. Because whatever, whatever roommate I get is going to use it. So um, yeah, it's not going to be necessary anymore. And yeah, that's about it. Okay, beds are stripped. I have it all in my bag here. Gonna have to walk down to the laundry room. Hopefully there's something available. Also, I just want to point out yesterday there was quite a casualty. I stepped in mud with my nice white vans and I can't get the mud out now. So that's fantastic. Anyways, crossing our fingers, there's an open, open washer. I just came to pick up my sheets and they're still wet so I'm gonna let them go for another few minutes but I don't feel like walking up the stairs so I'm gonna sit down here and wait um I'll give you guys a little tour of the laundry room though so you walk in from there and then there's an ice machine some tables a sink that nobody uses the dryers and the washers that are all always taken and that's all I'll come again next time Okay, little update. I cleaned my sheets. Um, let me show you that. So, so like I made them my bed again, all nice, fresh, chef's kiss, pristine. And then on this one, I decided not to make it again because I'd have to take it off in two days. So I like folded up that sheet and put it away in my closet to like switch off my bed next semester. And then this is all coming home with me over break and um, you know, some of it's not gonna come back. But yeah, that's good. Now I can use this bed to help like start packing things. I have 
to clean those dishes and then I still have to take the trash out um but I'm gonna be leaving soon to go get a coffee so I'll take part of it then it's just like an annoying walk and I cleaned out my fridge for the most part which is good but yeah that's the update it's going well <laughs> okay so I did my dishes um fun and then I just talked to my parents and we figured out everything for the move out and like things I need my dad to bring and stuff. Um, so that's kind of exciting, I guess. Now I'm going to try and attempt to take this, that pile of trash there, part of it out and then go get a coffee. So good times. I'm now it's feeling very real. We're like just like 49 hours away from my move out, which is terrifying because I don't want to go home, <laughs> but it's okay. It'll be okay. Yeah, that's all. Okay, y'all. It is Thursday, like evening now, 4.30. I haven't really done much today, but I just put in a load of laundry, um, like my last one and then whatever I wear today. And tomorrow I'll just wash it at home. No biggie. Um, just wanted to get that done. And once I get that done, I have to start moving like this is not on my side of the room. I have to transfer that and I remove these other lights. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit more homework before I do that though, but that's what's happening next. So that's my little update. Okay, a lot has happened. Let me show you around, okay? So this is, so this is like my roommate's side, that bed, it's like that's all coming home with me. I took down that poster, the tapestry, everything. I moved one of those like canvases that I had there. And then now over here, I moved this one here. I put these string lights, which I had previously had on this wall with Polaroids hanging off them. And I hung up the poster on that wall. Um, and maybe I'll add something else later, but probably not. And yeah, that's about, also here's the, the fit for today. Not great. Um, that's what we have going on right now. I moved, oh. I moved like a big tub back there that used to be on the floor because here I'm going to move this tub over there because this closet's not mine. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what's happening next. Okay, guys, happy Friday. It's officially move out day. A lot has happened today. I had a 9 a.m. class. Um, my friend Jack here has a podcast. It's called Jews with the News with his friend Eli. And I was actually on this week's episode. Um, we recorded that today, so I'm going to link them in the description, just in case when you guys want to watch it, um, which I doubt, but like, just for their, you know, little plug. Um, other than that, I went and got my last bagel with my sorority people, and I've been cleaning today, like a lot of trash. Yesterday, it was tragic. The fuse broke in the outlet that connects my fridge and microwave, and like... I was like, oh, I was gonna unplug it anyways for a break. Like, I'll just leave it. Like, I throw out everything that would spoil. But I forgot the fact that in the fridge, like, this is the freezer part, like, a bunch of crystals formed on top of it, like, ice, and it all melted overnight. So it's super wet, but it's a gorgeous out. It's like 70 degrees outside. So I opened up the window and hope that some of it evaporates. And I've been using, like, rags to soak up other parts of it. Um, so that's my unfortunate. Other than that, I got a lot of the trash out of here. I packed up my makeup. Um, and right now I'm about to finish, like, clearing out the floor and then pack up the one suitcase I have. Then I have homework I have to do very badly. Um, but I want to get at least the suitcase for the most part packed right now. And then move on from there. Um, because a lot of other stuff, like my dad's bringing bins for me to put stuff in, so... Whatever, like lotion, face products, little trinkets, anything I'm bringing back like that, shoes are going to go in those bins. So I just got to kind of wait on that. Um, it's like 1.40 and he's going to be here around 6. So I have a good amount of time, slightly frazzled, but for the most part, like I'm chilling. It feels better that I got most of the big trash out of here. And yeah, that's about it. Update you guys later. Okay, I I've, I just started packing up this suitcase, but I just I just did my t-shirts and I'm so proud of how this looks. I won't even want to unpack. Let's take a gander. 
and the reveal. I just Marie kondo the absolute shit out of these t-shirts. I'm just so proud I had to share because I know that's going to look disastrous. So at least if this looked good, I'd be satisfied. <laughs> All right, carry on. I also, okay, so I don't remember if I said this previously, but I'm bringing all of my clothing home, like every last piece of it, because I realized how much I don't wear. So a lot of it's going to be going to Goodwill and I have clothes at home that I, like I definitely don't want anymore. So I'm just bringing all of it home for convenience sake of going through it all. And then when I'm coming back in January is when like I'll take a lot less and then from there it will be easier. But I have the whole suitcase packed for the most part. And from there, it's going to be like pretty simple. So I'm very excited that I got this done. It's just a matter of getting the rest done when my dad gets here. So let me explain. So suitcase is like perfectly like I layered the dresses on top because those would be harder to transfer. Otherwise, everything is like perfectly folded. Thank you, retail, for teaching me how to fold things. After that, we move to the closet, like hanging things. So this is the example of what's going to happen. So everything's sectioned off in a garbage bag tied together. We have a rod in the back of the car where we just hang it all. When I get back home, hook it onto the rod in my closet at home, rip off the bags. Easy squeezy. That didn't make sense. You know what I mean. That's simple. That's perfection. This was all filled with stuff. I took that all out. Um... This had some things in it. I just have like fuzzy socks, whatever. This duffel is some of my shoes and then I have my boots left. That tub is all food I'm bringing back home because I had so much food and I'm just gonna bring it home so it doesn't go to waste here. Um, we moved to this side, which had dresses here. And then I have jackets I'm bringing back and then my jeans that I, I think we might put in bags too. I'm not 100% sure about the jean situation hanging. I might fold them up and put them in a bin. And then I have this bag, uh, that like bigger duffel bag, because I here have like my clothes from yesterday in sleeping that are dirty. So I'm gonna put them in separately. And then we move over here and this was empty. These are all hoodies in here. And here I have hoodies. This top drawer is all like undergarment things. Um, which will go in that duffel. Here I have hoodies. And then here I have my sweatpants. And let me explain why those are still in their areas. Okay, so I finished packing up that suitcase. And then I have a lot of stuff left. Like I, sh I showed like the sweatpants, hoodies, whatever. Because my dad is bringing one of those like vacuum bags. Um, that like have the cheesy commercials for them. Uh, to pack all that stuff because then it becomes just super easy to transport and takes up so much less room and I have so many like chunky bulky items that it makes sense plus like a blanket I'm bringing home and whatever so yeah that's that so basically everything is packed just got to put the undergarment things into my other duffel and then there's a few other like little random things around that I got to pack up but that's like going in the bins that he's bringing so, you know, it doesn't really matter that much. He actually just called me and is on his way. So I have to finish this to get like the assignments I need to get done done. And then I'll be all good to go. And it's really sad. It's feeling very real. It's also so warm outside. It feels basically like move-in day, which is really trippy for my head. Um, but it's fine. So yeah, that's that. I'll update you when it's like almost done probably because I'm just going to finish up this, do my homework, and then yeah, that's about all. So it's going well. It's been pretty easy actually. Okay, big update. Basically everything is ready. My dad's going to be here in like half an hour. I need to go get dinner so that I eat a little before. Um, the fridge has caused me some issues. The water spilled again. There was a lot. Um, I'm just going to ignore that. I cleaned it up. It's fine. Um, I'll show you guys the disaster that is my room right now. So this is this is like my roommate's side. So the bamboo's coming home with me and that's gonna get cleaned up. I'm just waiting for them to dry. This is the bed that's all coming with us. The only things left on her side that aren't mine are those cups and the books. And then here's this bed. My dad's bringing bins for me to put stuff in. So like it's just chilling here until I have the bins to put the stuff in. 
other than that it's all cleaned up and then the stuff in my closet that's going to be put away and that's about all i unplugged everything already um it's all good to go on that end so yeah i'm gonna go grab dinner bring it back eat and then my dad will be here and we'll get it all packed up and ready to go so a little sad i just said bye to jess which was very depressing but here we are Alrighty, I just said goodbye to Matthew, helped him carry his stuff to his car, met his parents, and now got my last ever dinner. My dad is here, I have to go meet him and let him in the building and we're gonna get, get out of here in a minute. Good shit. Okay, little update. Dad is here. Hello. We was frazzled. <laughs> yeah. Things are packed. We're bussing. It's all good. Let me, we'll do the thing. Okay, so all the things that were on here are almost gone, and same with here, and packed a good system. We just have the clothing left, so almost there. I've done it many times in this before. Getting a little cozy in the elevator. Haha. <laughs> Alrighty, I just um, finished packing everything. Everything's in the car. I just said goodbye to everybody. Um. And it's all empty and I'm about to drive home. So um, this is the end. It's my shit's here and this side's all bare bone. Oh, I can't forget Lois. Almost forgot Lois. Um, and yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video. I think uh, I'm just gonna drive home now and I'll be back until January 17th. So. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this was relatively entertaining or informative as to what it's like to move out for two months out of your dorm room for break and as a college freshman. And um, follow my Instagram at Marcelina Wazzy and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.